Hi everyone. So in this video, I am going to explain about some double-ended clipping circuits. In the previous video, I have given you the explanation of clipping at two independent levels with the two diodes, two reference voltages. Okay, where we have considered as VR1 is positive and VR2 is negative signal. Now, few more circuit diagrams are also there which performs this type of action like clipping at two independent levels. So, I am going to discuss few of them. In the first one, consider a resistor followed by two diodes like the previous case but here instead of taking VR2 as a negative, here I am taking a positive signal. So consider VR2 as positive, both the VR1 and VR2 are positive sided. This is the output voltage and this is the input voltage. This is VR1 and this is VR2, diode D1, diode D2, this is resistor. Now how to start the operation or analysis of this particular circuit? See, before starting the analysis, one thing we should know, we should clearly mention that whether VR1 is greater than VR2 or VR1 is less than VR2. Without knowing that, we cannot move forward. In the previous case, 1 is positive, VR1 is positive, VR2 is negative. That's why there is no assumption directly we can, we could move forward. But here, both are positive as nothing is mentioned here like 5 volts, 2 volts, it is not mentioned numerically, it is given with something like VR1 and VR2. So definitely we should assume a condition that VR1 is greater than or less than VR2. Okay, so assume a condition in, in exams also, if you are provided with this condition VR1 is greater than VR2 or less than VR2, then you can do accordingly. Suppose if you do not provide anything, then it is your responsibility to, to assume when both are connected in a positive way. Okay. So, assume VR1 is greater than VR2. Assume VR1 is greater than VR2. Again, see here, when input voltage is greater than VR1, diode D1 is a non-state, D1 is a non-state and D2 is in off-state because VR2 is less compared to VR1, <coughs> okay, D2 is in off-state and what about the output voltage, output voltage is equal to, D1 is in on-state, output voltage is equal to VR1 and input voltage is less than VR1. Second case, this is the first case and second case is input voltage is less than VR2, less than VR2, we are taking less than VR2, then diode D2 is in on state and D1 is in off state. Then what about output, output is equal to VR2. In between these two cases, we will be also having VR2 is less than, V in is less than VR1. What about the diodes D1, D2 both are in off state. What is the output? Output is equal to simply input voltage. So with these cases, let us draw the output waveform voltage and this is the input waveform. Mark the reference voltages VR1 and VR2. Let us consider this is the one axis and it is the VR1 here, VR2 here because it should be as per our assumption. We have assumed a condition that VR1 is greater than VR2. So, VR1 is greater here and VR2 here. Okay. So, now let us draw the output waveform. See the condition when input voltage is greater than VR1, output is equal to VR1. Input voltage is greater than VR1 means this upper peak. So, output is equal to VR1. When input voltage is less than VR2, output is equal to VR2. So, less than, less means this particular part, this one. 
and again here also it is entirely less for this again this one okay again for this output is equal to vr1 now in between vr1 and vr2 we will be having output is equal to input so this is the in between signal so output is equal to input output is equal to input so here clipping action is done at two levels like vr1 and vr2 and output is equal to like this because vr1 is positive the signal is shifted to positive side if vr2 is negative then it goes down like previous case if both are negative then the signal will be entirely shifted in the negative axis okay so depending on the considerations of this vr1 and vr2 the circuit will be like this okay let us take another example with vr1 and vr2 as a negative so that you can understand so consider this second circuit with diode d1 is in forward direction and d2 is in reverse direction so this is minus plus it is also minus plus this is output voltage it is minus vr2 it is minus vr1 this is minus plus and this is minus plus diode d1 and diode d2 this is resistor r input voltage <coughs> okay in the previous video i have discussed about the condition like both are positive and in the just a previous circuit i have discussed one is positive uh, both are positive and here i am discussing both are negative okay previous video we have discussed one positive one negative in this video both positive and both negative okay so condition when input voltage is input voltage is so before going to the input voltage what is the condition we should assume so assume a condition like minus vr1 is greater than minus vr2 minus vr1 is greater than minus 2 minus vr2 okay so assume this condition assume minus vr1 this particular voltage is more compared to this voltage see always try to assume in that way otherwise you cannot draw the output waveform the diode which is having forward direction the diode which is in the forward direction that voltage the voltage which is having for the diode which is in the forward direction that voltage is greater than the voltage in the diode which is in the reverse direction okay always we have chosen in that way once go back and see we have always chosen in that way okay so when input voltage is greater than minus vr1 when input voltage is greater than minus vr1 what about diode d1 on state and what about diode d2 off state and output voltage is equal to minus vr1 and when input voltage is less than minus vr2 diode d1 is in off state d2 is in on state and output voltage is equal to minus vr2 and now condition minus vr2 is less than v input is less than minus vr1 then both diodes are in off state then what happens output voltage is equal to input voltage okay so now draw the output waveform mark these reference voltages on the input waveform so this is minus vr1 this is minus vr2 here vr1 is greater minus vr1 is greater than minus vr2 greater means towards positive okay so minus vr1 and this is minus vr2 now let us draw the output waveform see the first condition is when input voltage is greater than minus vr1 output is equal to minus vr1 when input voltage is less than minus vr2 output is voltage is minus vr2 
in between these two output is equal to input this one okay so this is the output waveform which is having the cutting at two levels and following the input signal. So, if you compare the previous output waveform and this output waveform, here as we have considered both the reference axis as a positive, the signal is completely in the positive axis. But as we have considered both the reference voltages are negative, the signal will, the signal is in the negative axis. So, depending upon the clipping levels, the uh, signal will be shifted either positive side or negative side. Okay. So, coming to the Coming to another new type of this uh, clipper where instead of taking the reference axis, we can also consider Gina diode as a reference level. So, note Gina diode can replace reference voltage to cut the input input waveform to cut the input waveform Gina diode also used why Gina diode used because Gina diode is having some cutting voltage what is the Gina voltage Okay, when diode comes into breakdown condition, simply the voltage across the GNR diode is nothing but a cutting voltage, like a GNR voltage, which is a negative voltage. Okay, so let us consider in that way, first circuit, a resistor followed by a GNR diode. Across the output, we are taking GNR diode. This is the output and this is the input so resistor it is gina diode jet okay so now assume a condition when input voltage is less than v z let us take the cutting voltage as v z or gina voltage as v z what about the z diode diode z is in on state okay because the input voltage is less compared to the Gina voltage so it meets the required voltage to get the transistor get the diode is in on state when the diode is in the when Gina diode is in on state it simply acts as your pn junction diode what we have considered so far okay when it is in the reverse direction then only instead of open circuit it simply gives a uh, what is it Gina voltage so when it is in on state simply output is equal to minus V gamma minus V gamma let us consider this as gamma okay when input voltage is less than V gamma then the transistor uh, diode is in Z is in on state and V output is equal to minus V gamma this is first case second case is when minus V gamma is less than input is less than V Z then Z is in off state. Z is in off state. Then output is equal to input. As in output again, when Z is in off state, output is following the input signal. Consider the third case when input is greater than VZ. When input is greater than VZ, then what happens? Z is in breakdown condition. Z when it is breakdown, output is equal to VZ output is equal to vz okay so with these assumptions let us apply a sinusoidal signal this is the voltage here 0 and here it is time now mark vz which is a positive signal mark vz here mark vz and see what happens uh, mark minus v gamma also on this axis this is minus v gamma okay <laughs> now see here when input voltage is less than v gamma input voltage is less than minus v gamma less than minus v gamma output is equal to minus v gamma 
so here less than minus v gamma means this area this area output is equal to minus v gamma when input voltage is greater than vz output is equal to vz this one and in between these two output is simply followed the input voltage okay so during normal operation when input voltage is in between v gamma and vz the output is equal to input but when input is less than minus v gamma why it is less than minus v gamma because the diode is connected in the reverse direction okay so that's why when it is less than minus v gamma z is set to be on and output is equal to minus v gamma so instead of taking a reference voltage plus vr or minus vr z can also be used in place of the reference voltage to cut the signal at a particular level like vz but here one thing is vz we need to set we need to choose the diode in such a way that that vz is a required level okay suppose i want to cut at 5 volts i want to cut at 10 volts we need to choose the gnr diode with that cut in voltage with that gnr breakdown voltage okay so in this way we can also design the diode is in the forward direction we can use it to two different uh, diodes in the same axis in the same branch if you use one more jena diode one is opposite to another then again it clips that two different levels in the positive and negative peak okay like that we can design several circuits uh, which clips the signal at two different levels thank you